They're just hilarious. And, like I was actually like choking, laughing when Jasmine and Dan were having that dance. -off. I wanted to do this video to sort of sum up the Gymshark World Tour. I lost a lot of my footage from the UK and Ireland tour due to my memory card getting corrupted. So I lost that footage. It's really, really sad because I had an amazing time at the tour and meetups. It was really, really cool to get to see those cities. I was blown away, especially at Ireland, with all of the amazing people that turned out. So thank you. Um, the West Coast tour was also amazing. Apparently, I was a lot more jet lagged for that one. So it was like used to Eastern time zones. So I was like dying at 7 and 8 p.m. I just wanted to fall asleep. At that point, after traveling a whole bunch, my social interaction tank was just starting to just crack and crumble. So it was definitely, the combination made me a little bit more run down um, and wanting to like kind of hide to myself when I was not obviously doing the group activities or the meetups or whatever. But San Francisco was such a cool city and LA was beautiful as always. At the LA meetup, I had a blast uh, chatting with all you guys and especially the people who came up to ask me questions about lifting technique. That was really cool. I kind of wanted to give you an update on my life. I'm reading off of this here because it's, it gets kind of ridiculous. Basically, to sum it up, um, I've had like the craziest last three months, I want to say, basically since the mid-July. Let's say summer. I've had the craziest summer going into fall of my entire life. I don't even know like I was just like I, I've literally been homeless um, I've been living in a suitcase but like honestly like as crazy as it is I've been the happiest that I've ever been in my life and I just feel like I'm on the right course with my life and um, I'm just really really happy and I can't stress that enough so um, although life has thrown me kind of lemons in the process and it's been super complicated it's like definitely hasn't been the easiest way out or like the most you know standard kind of like routine way up it's been incredible and I wouldn't go back and I wouldn't change anything I've just been thrown into traveling a whole bunch so it's the most that I've ever traveled in my life in this short period of time up until a couple of years ago I actually had never flown until I was like 22 so to sum it all up I love the East Coast tour and that was like Philly New York and DC and I flew to Kelowna and I actually spent like less than 24 hours there packing up my stuff and then I flew directly to England, at which point I stayed for a couple of weeks and I worked at the Gymshark office and I did stuff with Gymshark so they kept me busy and it was awesome. After England, I was flying to go visit my friend Emily, so you guys saw that in the last video, and flight mishaps, whatever. I ended up staying overnight in Halifax. I stayed for a couple of days and I visited my family, so I got to see my family, which was really, really awesome because I was going through like big changes in my life and it was really nice to have their support, so that was good. And then I flew from there to Kentucky and I had a few days with Emily. Um, and then from Kentucky, I flew back to England and I was there about a week early for the UK tour. It was like five days or something like that. Then we had the UK tour, which obviously we were flying to Edinburgh and Dublin. So that was like more flights. And then after the UK tour, I stayed a little bit longer in the UK. Because I was going to go to the West Coast tour after that anyway, I decided to fly into Kelowna and I literally in one day i did all of the things that i needed to do like in canada because i had been outside of canada i'm um, just chores and stuff i rented a car from the airport and i went and i stayed at the hotel and then i went to like my old apartment and i packed up all of my stuff into boxes it was like one of the most stressful and nerve-wracking things i've ever done but i knew that it needed to be done and i had to be an adult about it and just get it done I hired a moving company within like two days they gave them like a day notice i flew to san francisco and then they came and they picked up all of my stuff um, and then they took 
it'll get to Toronto. So right now it's in storage. And then I did the West Coast tour, which is what you guys are seeing now, kind of just letting the footage play. And we went from San Francisco to LA to Vegas. After Vegas, um, Ben and I flew to Vancouver. From Vancouver, Ben and I flew to Toronto. And then this past last few days actually I flew home to visit my family for Thanksgiving and that was super super fun. I got to see like my sister and my nephews and my parents and my brother and it was just really really good. I was really happy to do that. I'm in Toronto now so I flew from Halifax to Toronto and here I am um, and I'm just kind of spending this next week just getting all of my shit together, just like getting stuff done, doing this video and doing another video and then recording another video. So I really want to like do YouTube. So on the 17th now, so today is October 13th. So on the 17th, I fly back to Birmingham and, and then I'm staying in England for a little while. So that's kind of what has happened in my life. Like obviously I'm not going into like details. It would be like extremely stressful for me normally. It definitely pushed me outside of what I would be used to. Like I said, I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm so glad I got that experience of traveling. It's opened up my mind so much and it gives me confidence to do more. I'm really excited to make 2017 the year that I see the world. So today is a meetup day. It was really, really good. Definitely allowed for more time to just chat with each other, spend time with each other. And Vegas was also awesome because Emily actually joined us for that last part of the trip. It was really great to see her, um, especially since we didn't get that much time together last time. And I wanted to extend a huge thank you to everyone who came out to one of the Gymshark World Tour meetups. Us as athletes really do recognize the um, opportunities that we're given by having your guys' support and having the platform that you give us to reach out to you guys and to provide info for you guys and to basically make a career and make money off of doing this. So honestly, thank you so much. I think that Gymshark needs to be recognized as well. None of this would have ever happened if they didn't see the value in connecting with their supporters, like the fans that buy the Gymshark clothing and see the value in getting us together as athletes and just being a, a family together. Bringing us to you guys and cutting out all of the travel costs that you might incur her visiting one of the expos and the expo tickets um, and sacrificing what they would have made in sales through a booth with clothing available and stuff like that I think is such a cool investment 
there's no other company I know that would do that and then also pay to bring their athletes to different cities. It's like overall, I think it's such a huge win-win for like both us as athletes and for you guys who are interested in meeting us. So basically what I'm trying to say is my decision to work with Gymshark is confirmed on a daily basis and they really do like have such a commitment to to their core values. They they don't just say it, like they actually do it. And I'm someone who really believes that actions speak louder than words. Not to be cheesy, but I'm really proud to be a Gymshark athlete. So thank you, Gymshark. And if you guys are interested, you can still purchase my glute program. There's like a little bit of a hold on my account for a little bit because I was just switching over credit cards. Some of you thought that I stopped selling it, but I am still selling it. So if you do want to purchase the program, I'm going to put a link here on the screen and down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.